Good morning, everyone. Today we are headed down to Abbeville, Louisiana. We're gonna take out a rice processing plant and we're gonna bring you guys along. We have the 2003 Ford F-350 warming up. It's a V10 gas. We are loaded for Diggity Dog. The bed is full, ladders, tools, 220 power cord, you name it, we got it. We're bringing our generator, both toolboxes, because there's no power on site. And we're bringing our small 3,500 pound capacity forklift. And we're cruising on Charlie's, I wanna say 20 or 22 foot bumper pull trailer. We are loaded a little nose heavy. We may change the forklift later on down the road. Mississippi River right now. Got a barge out there. The big old steel structured bridge. The Smokies are out in force today. There'll probably be one as soon as I cross the state line. Just crossed into Missouri. I'm gonna put the camera away now so I don't get slammerated. If you've liked the video show so far, make sure you Hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. We made it across the state line to fuel up because who wants to give more money to the state of Illinois? So far, we have already spent 123 and $129 on fuel. Got some delicious Casey's sustenance. Everything is running and hauling perfect. We decided to leave the forklift where it was, even though we appear to be a little tongue heavy because it's just gliding. It's really doing a nice job. We're gonna hop back in the truck and it might be evening time by the time we check back in. Thanks for watching so far. We are in the middle of Arkansas, just kind of cruising through a massive kudzu swampland. Just wanted to check in a little bit. Not too much more to say about it. We're just cruising. We're at St. Charles, Arkansas. We are about 10 minutes away from our first hotel and we spotted alongside the road, the Chenault Aviation Museum in Monroe, Louisiana. And they've got some cool planes. Unfortunately, it's Saturday evening, so they're all closed up. There's a Huey right over there. There's a MiG right there. My nephews are into planes a lot more than I am, but uh, definitely some cool, cool planes. Very cool to see. Nice little small stop. It'd probably take you about an hour through the whole museum, if I had to guess. There's the hours. Unfortunately, they have this shed and this trailer blocking the Huey. I've never seen one this close before. It's kind of cool. They have, I think this is a deuce and a half truck. I think, I don't know. I've only heard them called that in like movies and stuff, maybe on YouTube once or twice. Then they have an old ambulance here as well. Good morning, everyone. It is day number two. We are in Monroe, Louisiana, and it is certainly different down here. It is 6 a.m. in the morning. 
It is already 77 degrees and the air is so thick, it's like you're breathing maple syrup. We stayed in the Town Place Suites by Marriott. Everything rode exceptionally well so far. We've tightened up our straps. We're ready to jump in the truck. We're gonna go inspect a secondary plant. Then we're going to move on to the primary plant site right on the Gulf in Abbeville, Louisiana. We have arrived at an abandoned warehouse. We have drove all the way through the property. This is a private road right here. It has a railway running through it where they used to load rail cars. Those are the rails right there. And then we are right up against a northbound mainline high speed. Our fuel mileage average has been 7.4 miles per gallon. And so far on the trip, we have went 691 miles. This old Ford truck has served us well for many, many years and it just keeps going. So far in fuel, we have spent this much. On stop four, we lost our receipt. So that one's just a wash, but we'll get it at the credit card statement at the end of the month. We have arrived at the Best Western in Abbeville, Louisiana. We have checked into our rooms. We're just getting ready to walk in. And then tomorrow we will go inspect the plant or we may go inspect it yet today. We're not sure yet. We are going to eat at the Riverfront restaurant. And right over there, we just drove across that suspension bridge. We'll let you know how the food is. This is a look walking in. Riverfront, a Louisiana grill. I ordered the corn crab bisque and it is quickly disappearing. And Luke ordered the crawfish nachos. I ordered the 10 ounce ribeye with vegetable medley with jus sauce and the loaded potato. Luke ordered the chicken angelo with corn grits and crab cake. We're taking a walk down to the river since we're by the riverfront. So far that's the only gator we have seen but we're hopeful. We will check back in once we're down there. These boats are running past at quite a uh, rapid little clip. And this is quite a tree. I'm guessing this is a cypress. I'm not sure, comment below if you know what this is. I would recommend the Riverfront Restaurant in Abbeville, Louisiana. It's a gorgeous little stop, good food, good prices. I thought the uh, steak was well priced for what it was. We just made it to the plant. It is a toughie. Ladies and gentlemen, it's overgrown, it's nasty. There are signs of vagrants everywhere. It's going to be a fun one. We definitely have some homeless situations going on. We have a bed and I assume a hot plate or camp stove or something went awry in here. Burnt the bed down, the countertops, and the old stove in whatever this kitchen used to be. Probably a break room. It's almost like urban exploring. We've got random dark rooms. We'll walk over to the shaft that we're going to lower all the equipment through. This is the shaft. We have second floor, third floor, and fourth floor all the way up there. And then that is our crane beam right there. Crazy, crazy. Definitely got some exploring to do. This was a uh, rice plant. We have made it all the way up to the very top floor of the plant. All of the bucket elevator legs are under roof. That's kind of awesome. There's definitely some homeless activity in the area. We don't want to run into those guys. And there is uh, nasty chuck holes 
just everywhere all the way down. You don't want to put your leg off in those. It's kind of rough up here. Coming up with a game plan. Crew's headed on down the stairs. It's gonna be a fun plant, that's for sure. It is an absolutely beautiful building, but it's just the wrong location, I guess. That's why it went out of business. Anyhow, we'll bring you guys along.